Now I'm going to stir this up and I can start smelling kind of a sweet uh, sour smell. Uh, kind of like sourdough bread because, well, that's what we're making. Now this is called the proof or starter. And what this is, is a colony of yeast and bacteria that are naturally occurring and they found a home in this starter dough. And this is what we're going to use to give our bread its rising power and its flavor. So I've added a cup of the starter to the bowl and notice I've still got some left on the bottom of the bowl here. What I can do to keep my sourdough going is add a scoop of flour and a scoop of water just into the leftovers right here and I can keep my culture going so that I don't have to start over from scratch again. And after it foams up and froths again, I can go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and then use it next time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add one and a half cups of flour to the one cup of starter that I have. And I'm going to add one scoop of water. And this is going to help it all mix together nicely. The other thing I'm going to add is a tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of sugar. And I'm going to start mixing that all up. You can add a little bit of flavoring. I'm going to use some garlic olive oil and pour that in too, but you don't have to do this. It's just a little extra for flavor if you'd like. It's the fun part, the mixing. Now I've got a mixer bowl like this. You can just mix it all together by hand too, uh, either with your fingers or with a spoon, but let's go ahead and get started here. Oh yeah, this is the fun part. Look at it all come together. After about a minute or two of mixing, I can see that I've got a nice mixed up doughy batter there and uh, from the looks of it to me this is this is just a little bit too a little bit too wet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add another scoop of flour to that. So If I were to stick my fingers into that dough it would make my hands all messy so here I go I'm going to add a little bit more flour and let it get mixed in there and what I'm looking for is a smooth texture, something that I could pour into a or wrap into a ball or make into a ball with my hands and not get my hands all sticky. Just a little bit more flour and we'll just let it mix for a little while. After a few minutes of mixing we're going to notice that the that the dough is starting to get much more elastic and stringy and what that is is that's the proteins that are in the flour that are starting to link together and that's called gluten. It's a protein that uh, gives bread its its kind of chewiness. And so we can see that the gluten chains are starting to form there because of that protein. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take this out of the bowl and we're going to form it into a ball. So I've dumped the contents of the bowl onto this, uh, this pad here and what I'm going to do is just kind of push in all those little extra little bits in there and this is the process of kneading as I get all those little dry pieces in there and mixed up into a nice little ball. And this also helps form those gluten chains. So this is kneading. And notice I have enough flour in the dough that even though I'm kneading it, my hands are still clean. If your hands are dirty and floury, that means you probably need to put in a little um, if, if it's or if they're uh, doughy, it means you need a little bit too or a little bit more flour. And if um, your hands are floury, that means you maybe need a little bit more water. Mix that in there. Now let's take a look at this ball of dough that I've got right here. It's got yeast in there, it's got flour in there, and it's got water in there, and a little bit of flavoring in there as well. But what I just did is I just fed those yeast some more flour and they're going to eat that and they're going to produce carbon dioxide and that's going to cause this ball to expand. So I'm going to put this back into the ball or this ball back into the bowl and we're going to come back and we're going to see what happens after a few hours. So 
back into the warm spot it goes in that oven light warmed oven. Here you can see that my ball of dough has expanded and that's because the yeast is in there and it's been eating the flour that we put in and it's been making all these bubbles and that causes the dough to rise. This means this dough is ready to be formed into a loaf. So I just took my dough out of the bowl and now I'm going to add a little flour on this side and spread it on the top and now I'm going to flip it over and put some more flour on this side and spread it around and what I'm going to do is I'm going to knead the dough and my goal here is to try to pop all those carbon dioxide bubbles that have formed so I can spread out the nutrients once more and get my final rise on my bread so that I can bake it. Alright, I'm going to take that dough and just knead it and as I knead it I'm popping all those little bubbles in there and I'm also getting a little bit more flour in there so that the yeast can do its final rise. It's the second rise and that's what's going to make my loaf of bread. So I'm pushing it out and I'm stretching it the other thing that I'm doing here is I'm causing the proteins that are inside the bread to bond together and form long chains of a protein called gluten. Now gluten is what gives our bread kind of a chewy texture and that's a good thing. Of course, if you are gluten intolerant, that's not a good thing and you probably won't be making bread. All right, so I've got it nice and mixed and it's notice it's not making my hands dirty and I've got a nice loaf right there that is a nice size of loaf and we are going to let it sit and rise one more time back into the into the warm environment uh, and we're going to let it rise and then a little bit later we'll cook it. Now look how big that loaf got from such a small amount of dough that's ready to cook. We're going to set the oven to 350 degrees and we're going to let it cook for about half an hour. Boy, I wish that this camera could record smell because it's starting to smell really good. <laughs> 